Hey, welcome to My Light in the Dark, which is a short, soft horror game about a girl who lives with her abusive mother in a wooden cabin in the woods. A mother with some pretty dark secrets. My name is Perdita. I live with my mother in a small house. She's not kind to me. I'm not allowed to have friends. I'm not allowed to do anything fun. I'm not even allowed to leave the house. Mother forces me to live in the cellar. I don't mind really. I have the fireplace there. That's the only place in the house where I don't feel cold. Only place where I'm not scared of her. Cold. That's really what I feel most of the time. I'm not sad. I'm not happy. I've never cried. But I haven't laughed either. I just feel empty. Damn, this is a heavy intro. I could just stare into the flames for hours. My only light in the dark. This is relatable because every time there's a campfire or whatever, I just stare blankly into the fire and I just enjoy the heat coming onto me. Like, what? <laughs> is this universal? Perdita, get me something to eat. Yes, mother. Okay, so angry stepmother. <laughs> oh my god, and the music. Uh, what is this, an apple? Basket of apples. Uh, interact. There's a hole in this one. No sign of the worm, though. I wonder if this is edible. Yes, yes, an apple will do. What are you waiting for? Give it to me! Of course, mother. Oh, this is unique. Everything that you have to interact with is in color. Before anything else, let me check out the fireplace. It feels nice and warm. The flames are dancing around in an almost hypnotizing manner. Yeah, exactly. So, it is universal. Now I'm just a little bit more sure that I'm not just a pyromaniac. <laughs> if I ever want time to pass by quickly, I just sit here watching the show. So, uh, mother, I uh, have an apple for you. Give me that! Now don't bother me while I'm playing the piano. What an absolute witch. I hope the piano's fallboard just crushes our fingers. Sometimes I wish I could just go. But the front door is always locked. <sighs> and so we live in the cellar. The cellar baby. Is there anything else we can interact with? The flames, yes. Past time. No, not yet. I want to check out what else we've got here. Can we go upstairs? We can! Hello? The chair? It's a chair, as comfy as chairs go. So, not that comfy, really. The teddy bear! Mr. Snuggles! <laughs> Mr. Snuggles. Uh, can we... First look at it, look at it. That's Mr. Snuggles up there. I love giving him hugs. He's so warm and fluffy. So, we can we take him? Ah, uh, we can't reach. It's too high, can't reach it. But maybe we can take the chair and move it closer? Yeah, it's a chair. I can move it to reach Mr. Snuggles. Yeah! And now we can reach it. I love you, Mr. Snuggles. This is a unique gameplay. And the colors just disappear because you, do, you don't have to interact with it anymore. That's really nice. Picture of a girl. I... Oh yeah, and now I can see it. The girl and the teddy bear in a... I guess it's a wheat field or whatever? My mother says that I'm in this picture, but I know that it's not me. To this day, I have no idea who she is. That might be kind of creepy though. Old clock. This old thing doesn't seem to run anymore. Can we... interact with it? Mother doesn't like it when I touch her carefully placed decorations. She won't notice, right? Who is this girl really? Adelie? Hmm? There's something written in the back of the picture. Adelie? Is that the girl's name? Adelie? It might as well be. Can we do anything else with it? Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. 
Can we do anything else with it? Use item? No, not really. Um, I don't know. Let's. Can we go upstairs? No. Can we go in here? Door under the stairs. <laughs> Harry Potter room. <laughs> I guess open. It's locked. Funny thing though, it doesn't even have a keyhole. Strange. But I guess that's it. We can't leave, can we? Front door, look at it. The way to freedom is right there. Only if it wasn't blocked by a locked door. Open? Nope. It is locked firmly. Maybe we should have a look at this one here. Like, have a lock look at the door here. Uh, look at it. This door has always been locked. I've never seen what's inside. Hmm. Okay. I guess that's that. And we'll just have to pass some time, I guess. In front of the fire. This is actually uh, evil uh, stepmother stuff. <laughs> Huh? It's just a thunder, nothing to be afraid of. There's a storm outside. I love the sound of rain and thunder. Perdita! I don't like the sound of that though. Here we go again. Bring me some water! Now! Jesus, you hag! <laughs> Could you please love your child? Yes, mother. The question is though, is she your child? There's the can on the table. This one right here. Can of water, take it. The room suddenly got even darker. Well, I guess it is night, but I would mean that there is somehow light seeping in through a window or something. Oh. It's quite dark now is here as well. So I guess we're going to have to go upstairs. Hello there, mother. Oh, wait. Piece of paper. Look at it. Rules of the house. Don't touch anything. Do what I say. Be quiet. Yeah, these are the rules I should live by. Good thing she spends a lot of time playing the piano. Gives me time to do anything I want. Well, almost anything. And what do you want to do that you cannot do? Bookcase? So many books. And I've read almost all of them. Mother doesn't like it when I take a book with me to my room. That's why I usually read them at night. Can we take one? Because it's night right now? Hmm. What's the next book I should read? What about this one? Huh? That's weird. The pages are all glued together. Uh... Maybe we shouldn't take that book. <laughs> when pages stick together, that's not a good sign. There's a key in here. I wonder what it's for. I'd better let it be for now. Mother would kill me if she found out that I took it. Alright, we should remember that. Can we interact with the letter here? Piece of paper, interact. There's nothing here. Nothing, okay. Alright. Hello, mother. You dropped the book? Don't touch that! Oh, alright, I won't. Painting? Don't touch that! Jesus, alright, take it easy. Talk? and <laughs> Just look at her, just stand there and look at her. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Talk. Mother? What a? All right, use item. We can use the can of water. Put the can on the table. Yes, mother. Thank you, Adele. What did you say? Mother? That was not her name. She passed out. Huh. I've never been in this room without mother watching me closely. I kind of want to find out something about this girl, Adele. Who is she? And why did mother just call me that? Because you are not her real daughter. Painting? Look at it. This painting is always crooked. 
I wonder why. Maybe we should straighten it out and see what's behind it or something. I could try setting it straight. Did we unlock something? What was that? Something clicked in the house. I mean, the painting does something. Better move it back because Mother would notice that. I think it might have unlocked the door. Like the, the cellar door. Well, the one that's under the staircase. Mother's diary. We should have a look at it. This book is one of Mother's precious things. I wonder what she's written here. We, we shouldn't take it. She will notice that immediately. Entry 95. It's a cold autumn day. My daughter's birthday is in a month. I took some flowers to her room. They look pretty. Huh? My birthday is in spring. Entry 103. Winter is coming sooner than last year. It's getting really cold. I have to get some more firewood. I lost the master key somewhere in the house. I have to use the spare key to get in and out. Entry 119. The days have been cold, but still no snow. Adida has been naughty. I noticed that Teddy had moved. She shouldn't touch her toys. Wait, what? I shouldn't touch my toys, or I shouldn't touch hers? The girl in the picture is Adelie. Mr. Snuggles is her toy. She's her daughter. But she never told me about her. Do I have a sister? She wrote that she visited a room. What room? It wasn't mine. I don't remember any flowers. Is she still alive? Is she, is she trapped in that other room beneath the staircase? The room under the stairs. That must be it. There's no other choice. I have to find a way to get in there. <sighs> uh, d d d don't wake up, you witch. I'm guessing that's about everything I can gather from here. I better leave before Mother wakes up. Mm. Can we check the chest? No, we can't. Piano, nothing. So, there is a key in here, but, I mean... I now know that the key is in that book. I just have to figure out later what it's for. Okay, so not yet. Maybe today is not the day, I, I suppose. The clock is also looking very suspicious. Can we interact with it? I could try to set it running again, but it's missing the winding, the winding key. Hmm, still no clue. We haven't actually seen that key yet, but um, maybe it's not for today, but for another time. Past time, yes. Perdita, get up here! Uh, what now? Is it because it took the teddy bear? Is she gonna scold us now? Or is she gonna leave? Perdita, I'm going to see a doctor. Don't do anything stupid while I'm gone. I don't know. Yes, mother. How can you lock up your child? Well, I, I suppose that she's her child at the moment, but I, I have my doubts. How can you do that to a living being? This is it. I have to get into that room under the stairs. I have to act quick before Mother come ba comes back. There's something on the... Huh? What is this? On the counter. Oh? Mother forgot a tinderbox here after lighting all the candles. I could take it with me. We should, yeah. Plenty of matches left. Nice. We might need some light in that cellar. Also, there are no windows in this house. How creepy is that? What are you, a vampire? So, we should first of all go and check on the paint. Oh god, no, the door is closed. Door to mother's room. The door to mother's room. I wonder what dark secret she hides in there. And can we open it? It's locked. Maybe that's what the key is for and I was wrong. I can take this key now. I wonder what it's for. Well, it might be for this. Use item, uh, the key. I wonder if the key fits here. It does. Oh, I'm so dead if Mother finds out about this. <laughs> she won't. Well, maybe she will, but you'll be long gone. I hope. 
Painting, interact. Let's move this again. What was that ominous click again? Something moved somewhere in the house. So we should go and check out what the hell happened. Hmm, something moved. The clock? Huh? There's a small compartment under the clock here. Moving the painting must have opened this. It's a clock winding key! And there we go. Now we need to uh, interact. Uh, wait, no, 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 no. Um, we need to use item. Yeah. Clock winding key. And that will open the door to the cellar, right? That actually scared me. <laughs> the door. It opened. I didn't know Mother could be so smart. Secret switches for a door? <laughs> now the question is, what will we find down there? The remains of what used to be her daughter? Or something more ominous? Hmm? We could shed some light in this room with the matches we found. Tender box. Okay, so another bedroom. A ladder down. That's creepy. I see the flowers that she brought here. These must be the flowers Mother wrote about. Still fresh. How is she able to hide all that? Uh, yeah. It's in the lines of what I was, I was kind of expecting. A coffin. It's so cold in here. To keep the body fresh, right? There's only three words written in a page. Whisper my name. Huh? We should whisper Adelie? A music box. Should we interact with it? I could try to set it playing. Okay. Nothing happens. Is it broken? Look at it then. It's a music box. What's it doing here? Yeah, there's nothing scary at all about playing a little tiny music box next to a coffin and yelling out the name of the dead person that's in the coffin. Like we're doing some kind of resurrection ritual? Look at... It's a coffin. This is getting way too creepy. I have a bad feeling about this. I think she can speak for all of us here, huh? Well, I guess there's nothing else to do but to interact with it? I'm... I'm kinda creeped out at this. Should I open it? I'm going to regret this. Yeah, human remains, yup. Oh no. I mean, what did you expect, to be honest? Are you? Adelie. What's going on? A coffin. Talk? Oh my god. Use item? S Mr. Snuggles? What that's gonna do? <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> Maybe Mr. Snuggles will calm the spirit when we talk to her. It. Her. I don't know how to call it. Ada Lee? It was written. Ada Lee? Oh, don't tell me it's gonna react. The music box started playing. This tune sounds familiar. Did she get resurrected? It's the same song that Mother always plays on her piano. Adelie. Hello, Perdita. Adelie? Yes, I have a favor to ask you. What, what do you need? I feel cold. Could you not take me off with me, please? I can help you in return. I mean, sure. But, um... Why are we not running away in fear for a ghost? <laughs> Use item, like I thought, Mr. Snuggles. Thank you. Teddy says you're nice. I'm going to help you. What did Mother do to you? Oh, no. Mother didn't do anything. And that's just the reason why I died. I was sick. 
Our mother doesn't believe in modern medication. She let me die because of her own stubbornness. But she went and see a doctor right just now. After I died, she went looking for a replacement. What? She went to an orphanage, found a beautiful baby girl and stole her. No one cared because she was an orphan. And that is us. And that baby girl was you. Mm -hmm. So, Mara has lied to me all these years? Yes, but beware. She thought you would be perfect. But you did not meet her expectations. She's been sick for a long time. Sick in the head. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't take a smart ass to notice that. I've written my story in my diary. Take it with you when you leave. I want people to know what happened here. You need to escape this place. Run away from here. Or else she might hurt you. But the front door is always locked. I can't escape. Don't worry. What a job to kill my carpet some time ago. It's right there, between my ribs. Take it. Take it and go. I don't feel comfortable with grabbing a cre with grabbing a key between your ribs. It's way too close to dead remains. <laughs> nope. Ah, the smell. There's the key. Well, rest in peace, Adelie. Are we gonna be able to escape or are we gonna be too late? I have to take Adelie's diary with me. Oh, right, yeah, the blue book here. The book is now full of text. I need to take this with me. Mmm, paranormal activity shizzle. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Oh, no. She's back already? Why is she just standing there? M mother Uh, no, that's not good at all. She's not saying anything. She looks angry. Angrier than I've ever seen. There's something wrong with their eyes. Why is she staring at me like that? Mm, we have no nothing to defend ourselves with. Uh, flowers? No, we can't do anything with him. Oh god. Um, a bed? Mother actually made her sleep here? That's just cruel. Um, hello? Please don't hurt us. Mother? <laughs> Use item. Could we stab her with the key or, or hit her with the book? <laughs> Music box? Talk? Mother? Non-responsive. We actually have to use an item here. Music box, I guess. She left? Huh? She just took the music box and walked away? She really is sick in the head. No matter, I should just leave before she gets any ideas. Mm, I don't trust this fully. What is she playing now? Sounds a bit creepy. I should just go. But this isn't the right key, is it? Oh wait, no, it is the right key. Should should we go check? I wanna I wanna kinda go and check on her before we leave. Okay. Um maybe we're just gonna leave her be and go. Yeah, yeah, maybe we should just go and take the opportunity. A key? What that's gonna do? Open the front door? Maybe? Oh, wait, no, the master key. <laughs> Wrong key. <laughs> Finally! Salvation! It's still dark outside. The way out of here is dark and scary. Why would anyone want to live in the middle of a dark forest? Goodbye. Mother. Okay, so now we're outside and it's dark. So it's night? Was it night? We have actually have, we actually have no idea what time of day it is because the house was pitch black. 
And I'm like, I kind of want to go explore like these little nooks and crannies, 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 for hidden stuff. Scarecrow. Letters? Huh? What are these papers doing here? What's that written on them? I just wanted to see how it felt to kill. I just wanted to see how it felt to kill. I just wanted to see how it felt to kill. I just wanted to see how it felt to kill. The same thing written all over again. Mother, what have you done? Yeah, maybe it's for the best that we leave. We are kinda gathering more and more evidence against her, hmm? Is there anything else peculiar laying around here? Wait a minute, what? Is this a mountain or is this a void? I can't really tell. A well? Is there something? There's nothing down the well, or at least I can't interact with it. I want to explore everything because the dark might reveal stuff. Perdita! Uh. Hello? I did not allow you to leave the house now, did I? You sneaky little devil! Come back here! Uh, no, 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 oh, uh, um, oh my god, is she, is she as fast as I am or is she slower? I don't know, um, I think we're safe. No, 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 I should not stop running, I should not stop running and she's closing in on me. I feel like I might not, mm, I almost got stuck on something, she's getting way too close. Uh, what, where is she? She was just behind me. Uh, oh, is this bridge? Oh, no, 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 no. There you are! Uh, how did she get so- Oh! Was I supposed to do that? She tripped into her own knife? Oh! <laughs> Karma, bitch! <laughs> Time to get out of here. Well, that was anticlimactic, but a fitting end to be honest. Two hours later, the police station. All right, the diary you gave me has enough information to conduct a full investigation. I'm going to see if I can find out if your real parents are still around. I need to file a report. Can I get you anything? I just want to watch the flames if that's okay. Yeah, I'm getting worried that we're turning into Pyromaniac. Having that as a model the whole time and then saying this line? Mm, we might as well get screwed in the head as well. Okay then, this might take a while. It's fine. I don't think it's a good idea to leave someone like that alone. <laughs> Apparently, my real parents never even wanted me. Six months passed. Ooh. So, what, she's back at the orphanage now? I was placed in a foster home. Well, kinda an orphanage. My caretakers are really nice. They understand me. They let me have fun with some new friends. And this is actually a very nice little detail about the game because now you can see how everything has gotten color. Except for our character. And that is a really nice visual representation of how the surroundings finally got positive and our character is kind of sad and depressed. But one thing in her whole life has always kept her, what, well, no, not kept her, but has been a positive light, literally and figuratively, and that's the flames of the fire. I should be happy, but I still feel cold. I still feel empty. The time I'd spent with mother took a toll on me. I never understood how to feel anything. From the time I've spent with new people, I've learned that this is not normal. I need to do something about it, now, rather than later. Time will heal all wounds. But it will take time, Perdita. Mom, I need some help. Time and a healthy environment, that's all she needs. And that was the first time I cried. Aww. That poor little girl. 
scarred for life. And that was it apparently. My light in the dark. Now I'm just gonna let the credits run and why don't you stick around for a minute to let the story sink in. The game has a nice message at the end by the way. I know this is gonna hurt my average view duration because some of you already have clicked off by now. But I don't care about my odds of the YouTube algorithm. I just want to talk about the game with you guys for a bit. It was just how I like them. An itsy bitsy of weird shit mixed with feelings into a story and I also like the music. It fits nicely. Sets the vibe. What do you guys think of the game? I especially liked how the dev used color, or uh, the lack of color I should say, to portray the girl's feelings toward her surroundings. It gave the game that little extra touch to what otherwise is just an overused standard RPG maker tile set. Which in this case I didn't mind at all, because the dev found a way to make it unique. But wait, if you have recommendations for games that fit with the channel, don't hesitate to tell me in the comments. If I'm interested, I'll play it, and if I enjoy it, I'll upload it. Please take care of your loved ones. You wake up every morning to fight the same demons that left you so tired the night before. And that, my love, is bravery. Thank you for watching until the end. You're a hardcore monkey. Appreciate it. And uh, we'll see each other in the next video. Ciao!